Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first ever video of If You're a Fan of This, Then Watch That MMA Edition. If you're a fan of martial arts, training in martial arts, or just watching MMA and martial arts in general, whether that be whatever discipline it is, from Muay Thai, boxing, karate, judo, I thought this would be a great gateway for you guys to jump into the anime scene, from new animes to old. So here are my recommendations. The goal pretty much here is to kickstart you into the world of animes, movies, manga, animation, and so on. So I'm hoping at least one of these will inspire you to get into training, or even inspire you to start a, a martial art or discipline you've never tried before, for beginners and more intermediates and advanced people out there. The first anime I'd like to recommend specifically for those who are a fan of mixed martial arts and everything around the spectrum is a show that I am just currently watching, I'm still fairly new into it, is Baki the Grappler, the 2001 to the 2007 version of the show. The story follows a boy called Baki Hanma, a 13 year old delinquent who decides to begin training himself to aim to become the strongest man in the world. So he enters various tournaments and fighting rings to prove so, both legal and underground scenes in order to test his strength and skill. Baki is a very very violent show I must say. The first episode of the show pretty much gives you the vibe of what kind of anime this is going to be. A lot of fighting pretty much. If you're a fan of that you're gonna love this. It captures everything from a multitude of different disciplines from Muay Thai, grappling, kickboxing. It's extremely exaggerated compared to other animes that I'll mention later on. You're going to have a good time with it. It will make you want to train Baki. Uh, has probably one of the most like inspiring I guess and most like uh, popular physiques in the anime slash like gym community. Uh, I'm sure you've seen pictures. It's something I would like to look like in the near future fingers crossed because bro the back muscles man I, I want that so badly. Regardless, it is an extremely entertaining show. It's a sequel series as well. I have not seen it yet, but still, I, I recommend it regardless. As well as the fact that Baki Hanma, his dad, Yujiro Hanma, is the pretty much the strongest man alive, the strongest man on the earth. Um, he is he is a monster. I've only, again, I've only seen a glimpse of, of his like technique and prowess, but like he's very, very intimidating. So yeah, Baki the Grappler. The next anime recommendation covers the discipline of boxing, Hajime no Ippo. This is the anime that pretty much kickstarted my martial art journey. Uh, Hajime no Ippo follows a boy called Ippo Makuno Uchi, a high school student as well as working for his uh, mother's and family boat business. Uh, he is a very very timid shy boy and extremely kind however he discovers the knack and love for boxing after getting bullied in the first episode. He meets up with a professional boxer called Takamura and from then on he joins the Kamagawa gym and strives to become the best and strongest boxer and champion of the world. Similar to Grappler Baki in many ways but it's on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. While Baki is a lot more over the top and extremely extremely over exaggerated with like the fight scenes and like Baki fighting like monsters and beasts. Hajime no Ippo is a much more grounded realistic take on the boxing discipline. You learn a lot. It's extremely realistic uh, with the training regimes, the techniques that's shown. Fighting styles are based off real boxes. The fighting style for Ippo Makinouchi pretty much mimics the way Mike Tyson uh, fights with his peekaboo style. Other influences from Jack Dempsey and his Dempsey roles are a major factor in this show. One of the main antagonists Ryo Mashiba pretty much is the is pretty much the carbon copy of Thomas Hitman Hands uh, Hitman style so yeah like you will learn boxing through this anime. It may be an unpopular opinion but I think it's probably the best boxing story I've ever read slash watched. I think it uh, exceeds the Rocky franchise which is a big statement but I'm not exaggerating this is a very very good show to start as a new fan of fighting slash shonen slash uh, martial art anime. Hajime no Ippo is basically like the perfect slice of life anime because you legit watch this boy's life grow up from being bullied in school to getting his license, training to become a national champion, a regional champion, then he becomes a champion and then like he goes international and you see a plethora of other boxes and like other protagonists around him as well get different storylines so it feels extremely lived in plus the pacing of the show uh, the entire series is about 120 episodes and um, split into four seasons plus two OVAs and, and a movie Every arc pretty much is split up into a training sequence, the build up of training to the match, the fight itself and the aftermath, the rinse and repeat, every arc is like that so it's easy to jump in and jump out for whenever you want so I definitely recommend it. If I had a gun to my head and say you have three anime to watch Hajime no would be one of them. The next anime I would recommend covers a multitude of different disciplines from karate, kung fu, jeet kune do, taekwondo and a lot of different striking disciplines. Uh, tai Chi as well is the original Dragon Ball by Akira Toriyama. Dragon Ball is such a heartfelt adventurous show but the action is what pretty much uh, takes the cake for me. Dragon Ball it pretty much follows a boy called Goku and his friend Bulma who venture across the world to find the seven Dragon Balls. If once you collect all seven Dragon Balls a dragon comes out and grants you a wish. But in between the quest of getting all these balls together there's a lot of action. Goku and Bulma and the friends that he meets along his journey come across a lot of foes 
egos and challenges and in doing so Goku has to train uh, with various teachers and has to partake in a lot of tournaments. The tournaments for me, the World Martial Arts tournaments are the highlights for me for the show. The tournaments pretty much capture everything Goku has learnt throughout all of his ventures and training with his masters, throws it all in a big giant gauntlet of different fighters that he has to face off against. It's extremely entertaining, the animation is so crisp and pure. Um, if you're a fan of like Innocent Charm and Yuma, Dragon Ball is for you. It's extremely inspirational and again Goku is just extremely likeable and goofy, I can't lie. Um, so yeah, Dragon Ball. And since we're talking about Dragon Ball, we're gonna have to move on to the the, the, the pinnacle, I guess, the golden child of the shonen pantheon of anime, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is the, I think, go-to answer when you think of an action battle shonen martial arts story. Again, similar to Dragon Ball, it captures everything from Jeet Kune Do, Tai Chi, Taekwondo, Karate, and a mix of different disciplines. A lot of professional boxers and MMA fighters are big fans of this show, and you can clearly see the influence of some of the fighters. Unlike Dragon Ball, where it's like a heartfelt adventure show, Dragon Ball Z is basically like a sci-fi epic. The dial for Dragon Ball Z is pretty much dialed to 11 and thrown off completely. The premise of Dragon Ball Z pretty much skyrockets. The characters in the previous show are a lot older now and pretty much defenders of the earth. So of that, we have a lot of more, we, we get a lot more extraterrestrials and aliens and other creatures from different worlds and galaxies uh, headed to earth finally Dragon Ball. So it's up to Goku and the rest of the Z warriors to fight back and defend the planet. It's extreme, the fight choreography is insane. It, it will get you hyped. <laughs> the, the premise of Z is pretty much constantly breaking your limits and ascending to even greater limits as well as kind of like passing down the torch to the next generation of fighters. Uh, we see new characters such as Gohan, uh, Piccolo, uh, Vegeta especially. Similar to Grappler Baki, Dragon Ball Z is non-stop action. Uh, it's, oh, it's so good man. I could legit do it. I, could, I should really just do a separate episode of Dragon Ball Z alone. <laughs> I can't lie. But anyway, let's move on. The next series is a manga series called Tepu. I know there hasn't been an anime adaption, but I still think it is worth the recommendation. Or if not, I'll probably do like a manga episode uh, just for this in a later video. But regardless, Tepu follows a girl called Natsuo in a high school freshman year. She is a girl who's pretty much talented at everything that she does. Because of that, she finds everything extremely boring. Uh, she's good at fighting, volleyball and every other sport. And as a girl she's a lot taller than everyone which makes her very very intimidating. She discovers the world of mixed martial arts through another freshman year student, Yuzuko, who's a complete opposite to Natsuo where well Natsuo is extremely like um, I guess like your typical Sasuke type character who's very like you know reclusive to themselves extremely serious and brooding. Yuzuko is a lot more happy and jolly like a typical shonen anime uh, character type but they are a very evenly match uh, in mixed martial arts so it's pretty much her goal to beat uh, basically and we have this really really intense rivalry. They're, they're basically frenemies in a way. She pretty much hates the mindset of people who like to train and fight because it's fun. So because of that, she wants to destroy Yuzuko. So you just you pretty much just see her train and work her way up to beat her basically. I'm midway through the series, so I can't really say much, but as a fan of mixed martial arts, fighting scenes really capture like real life MMA techniques uh, from the panels, the composition, and just like the, the subtle dynamic figure drawing from uh, the artist himself. It's really really cool. It legit fight scenes really feel like it's an actual MMA match, I can't lie. I, you really feel the impact when a knee is thrown or when like a takedown happens. So yeah, Tapu is pretty much my number one MMA manga that I've read so far. I think that will do for episode one for this video. So yeah, as a recommendation, go for any of them. They're extremely inspiring. Again, like I guarantee one of these will make you want to train, work out, whatever, like join a gym. I guarantee it. So please let me know down below if you're a fan of any of these. What recommendations do you have uh, for a future episode? Please let me know down below and I shall see you guys in the next episode. Peace.